Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? And like junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. I don't know. I know you're in here. I cannot see. Say something. I don't think that's me. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, so we're like five times scarier than you. Hey, there they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. And you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? They didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest. Protect their own and their neighbors. Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. Family relationship just by being hard workers. Contributors. I'm okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. He's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. He's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that... God. You kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all us. He... Oh, oh little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh god. I've seen this. Or I've felt it. it was Ed Scooter and Jim Journey who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Or Bridal. Best Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carter's initials and date in the door. And you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Bend and shoot long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And the water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we were standing. That water dried up. 
1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootleg. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. So Ed busts through this wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. It never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But somehow, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You've got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our boats. They're putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. But we worked ourselves to death. Ah, uh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh God, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. He was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once he takes a shine to, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. They say Ed can walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time after we picked one out. Well, not only was this town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time. First one of the hole by our own hands. We owned up to what we do. I was there. That was you. You threw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing. Someone's turned to find someone. I think I'm gonna be sick. You never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been, oh god, oh no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society. Except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end he'd wind up at. They did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. You don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. Where Casey was headed. You killed Casey? And you want to act like we didn't do him a, this whole town a favor? Oh my god, Casey's been down here the whole time. 
His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg? He was my friend. Right now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. Well, they both have guns. <laughs> what if you get, what if I get you first? Both stick it right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this part out in the woods. Basic safety. I, I. Throw it down, son. Don't make this, don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mines puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids living more than they're staying, no opportunity here. Old people die in houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home becomes a tumble and pile of wood and plaster. Job becomes a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. Shape. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. Even with the French benefit of good health, we need new blood. Carry this on and we're gone. Really? You, you're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even minors back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? Or someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because no one is here to do this. You'll remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard, the blizzard of 2010? That's what happened. Beyond that, jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. Soon we'll all be dead. The town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can... Oh, that's you. Sorry. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. I understand that you don't know... You don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. I'm afraid they get to leave and I probably get permanent damage. Shut it, Eddie. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Eddie, I swear to God, 
go. God, seriously, get out of here. How do you leave that crossbow? What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. The truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we going to do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Oh, well stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. Is he gonna sabotage the elevator? So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain right now, but, like. They lost what they thought was going to happen. It's what had happened like a long time ago. Or how they remembered or like pictured it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and the kids at the Harp Fest and... Sorry I lost it. There's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait Oops. everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Sabotage shit. Holy God. Is everyone okay? May, May. May, say something. Hey. <laughs> Dude, it's okay now. We messed up that we messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. How are we getting out of here? Shh, that may rest. I feel the air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Duh. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <clears throat> That was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Alright, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here.
Yep, that's fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully that's not a river. Key rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Oh, right. I'm a slow little cat, slow little cat. It's hilarious that their plan went wrong just because the one guy was so fucking uh, vindictive. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. Me trips and conks her head. Dies in the one foot of water. Right. <laughs> It's a little more than a foot because she's up here. Oh shit. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me real all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, oh god, hi cat. On the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window? Last leaf on a tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared of all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I get, to, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. I want the cat to not have done that. That is his nature. Yes, you're you can't adorable. Go you snuggle your brother. Until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... Hey! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Oh look, a jumping thing. Of course. What is this? Could be a vent or something? Keep the miners from suffocating way back when? Let's hold it up at least. For oh, sure. Hello. We're down here. 
Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky at someone up there in the woods at night. I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Dorp. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Oh, uh, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's I'm assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Well. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? There we go. No! God damn it! Oh, hey, the well. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're just like, uh, okay. This place? Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? <clears throat> it's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. You got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What are you doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Please. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Jim, can you like, I don't know, seal this well up? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big of an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Jerm. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of, like, a dozen guys. No, 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 no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. 
one of them attacked us. So we're worrying about like it's morally gray. They're not murderers. Like if oh hi cat. We'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. Maybe. I would have. Uh what? They like killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell. I hope they go all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we can keep walking. Number one, they did nothing wrong. Those fuckers had it, had it coming to them. Phantom, no. Stay away from my wig. Om nom nom, it's delicious. Hey guys. Uh, you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk, even if you jerks are off doing whatever. Whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary that who knows what's going to happen. But I guess you can like connect things or connect to things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. Ah, cat. I want us all to get free of it. Don't want us to just be a part of some horrible story. I want to like grow giant and pick you all up and carry you all someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambly now. I just gotta believe there's some way to escape. Or at least move on. Germ buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. And I don't know if his better friends exist. Or like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as you a Greg gift. Greg is a gift. Remember to water and feed him. <laughs> if you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just going to erase all that. Oh shit. Uh, guys, I was just kidding about all of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I was saying. Log off, May. Log off. Hi, kitty. Meow. Dawn of the final day. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. 
Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. <laughs> Bad practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the snail con. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. You're in the way. Meow. Yeah, meow, 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 meow. You're adorable and everything, but you're fat and in the way. Thank you. That's a thing. Epilogue. Star. Hey, honey, is that you? Yeah. Back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been, I just, I, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hon, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. You, you can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can put pancakes in the air. Ha ha ha. Yes, sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the long, the longest night decorations out. Oh wow! Calling for some snow too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. I'm out. Oh, hi, Dad. Dad's waiting for you. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glasses, and a heap of other things. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but... I wanted to give you and her time. I want her to have hobbies. Enough time and money to do them. That's why we made me that's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house, try to at least. 
Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easy to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we can make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. Just one big uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kid. Love you, Dad. Love you too. Be back later. Great googly movie. Oh, your aunt. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. Oh? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine. I will. May? Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now, I'd never considered that. May! Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. Hey, May. What's up, Summers? You okay? That's the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache and all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. No, it's not a migraine. Those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. You ever take pills that make you pee? Caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Oh, well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Oh, God. It doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. Very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this. Car slips sliding all the way up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. Fight, 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 fight. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I want Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. And the most thought out. What the... We're going to do another water balloon toss? You nearly know, froze to death the last time. I still have the sniffle. Why is the guy walking back and forth? I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen, too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and the state. Lane's right on this one too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. 
I would break my own femurs with a cinder block. Jesus! All right, well, now that's settled, what are we going to do about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. Uh -huh, I'm faster than you. You have youth on your side. When winter comes and water freezes, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about... Your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. The time was they didn't pay the people in real money. They paid little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. Company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Then I met your grandfather. Real bastard that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. Ah, uh, wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. Sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he. So, what happened with the car? got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't stitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. The life day and nights of things he did. What you want to do with this is part of your story now. Can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Baroski. Peace out. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, alright? 
Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, too. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. Geez, that door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. Oh, I hate winter. Winter's good, actually. Nobody's here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those Legion Hall shows in Fort Lucene. Wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yep. So, uh, you okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get on the line? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. You know, is anyone missing today? I don't know. I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? What kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get whatever happened down there with you and the whatever that was. The cosmic horror? Okay, yeah, that. Um, it's old. Something older than anything you can think of. Uh, pardon? And you can feel it inside? And it's, it's in a hole outside town? Yes. No. Like, the thing is, in the hole is... Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. Like, porch light that's on, and then there's all the bugs around it, and then the light goes out. And then there's a hole that the light was. And that's how it happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about the, on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean... Sorry. It's okay. Uh, you've already... You've already been gone. You've been gone at least once this week... You got, and you've been gone at least once since you got back. You're a goner. Like last night. Feels like there's so much horrible past and it's still here. You're like swimming in it. You can't have a future. Nah, brah. Nah, brah, that's it. What was our biggest crime ever? Almost burning down the school? That was like our high school high point? Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. That was self-defense! All of that stuff. 
Like today's different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So like things change. I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods. It's gonna be different because we we're here. That's something. Something something something. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Tell them he's in a bottomless hole. Tunnel. In the woods. With a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon. We shouldn't tell them. None of this feels good. How could it, man? I think it's important that we know at least. Makes it mean something. I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only ones in the universe who care about anything or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or, like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. Gotta do stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Uh. Um. I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. Is are home enough? Or maybe I'll just visit for once and once you get settled in. Of course. Hey, dude, that yeah, dude, right. that I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Thanks for saving my life. Saving me last night, like repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, bae. Hey, bae. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, good. So I was just having the worst, weirdest nightmare ever. By the way, nice messages to wake up to. Oh god, I was abs let's not talk about it. I think I twisted my ankle last night. Can you just, like, not talk about last night for the rest of our days? Uh... No promises. Can we just play a song? And get pizza? And talk about this tomorrow? Sure. Whatever. We can all talk about it in therapy for years. That's the spirit. I mean, we have to go on, right? Obviously the world is seriously screwed up, but we're all gonna die if we don't keep living. That's some bumper sticker shit right there. I don't know what I'm talking about. Gotta make plans. We gotta change things. We gotta play a goddamn song and get goddamn pizza! Okay, so what are we playing? Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, I didn't have to pretend to play a song. <laughs> <sighs> and that was Night in the Woods. Jesus, fuck, that was not the ending I was expecting. What, with a cult and a cosmic horror? Yeah, that that's some fucking uh, trophy shit right there. Do 
Did you enjoy it? I don't know if enjoy is the <laughs> word. <laughs> that was a thing. I, like, when we started this, I don't know, in the fall, I didn't think that, like, you know, like, her coming home and stuff, I thought it was going to be about, like, you know, growing up and stuff. No, it ends in, like, cosmic horror death cult, and I'm just like, what? It's a real shame that the sequel never happened. Right. But oh well. It doesn't really need a sequel. It does end on its own terms. Right. Like, I legitimately thought that, like, the entire premise of the thing was going to be about her coming to terms with, like, whatever it was that made her drop out of college. Not the fact that she's being psychically attacked by a cosmic horror. 